I don't like to tell people that I have a hard time reading and all that stuff. I don't, no, I don't tell people that. When she first came to me um, three years ago, she, you know, she could barely read. She was reading, you know, maybe at a first grade level. Um, so it was like starting from square one for her because she was really impacted by your disabilities. Reading is just a slow, arduous process for her. She struggles so much with that. I hate reading because you have to read it the way the book says and your mind has to make sense of it. My mind didn't make sense of the reading. I put in like words that are not supposed to be there. So I'll put like, when there's an A, I'll put it. Then I'll skip a whole line of a paragraph. Frustrated. Want to stab the book. After watching her and working with her, I started wondering what is it visually uh, that she was doing and seeing. I'm like a visual learner, and I'm a visual learner. Visuals certainly help. Interestingly, that's where I think she learns the most. But optically, I'm not sure what it is that she's seeing. She's a very hard worker. Uh, she, you can really count on her to try her best all the time. Not that she doesn't get frustrated. Why, why can they, why can't, why can't I do this and they can? I uh, decided to talk with mom and make a suggestion with Hope Clinic just to see that if we can see if there is anything else going on there visually. Um, oftentimes in regular school settings, um, the school nurse may do a quick diagnosis of visual, whether or not they can do the ease going in the right direction. Um, so some types of disabilities get bypassed. Her, Vision exams were 2020 because she she had vision exams. Most of the patients that I see come in having been to other both optometrists and ophthalmologists who have been told they have 2020, their eyes are fine, or if they needed a correction, the correction was prescribed, but it did nothing for the near point problems that were impacting their school performance. It's really the brain that is utilizing or is actively uh, processing visual data. The eyes are simply a tool for taking light, but it's really the brain that sees. And so it's also the brain that sends out the necessary neurological signaling, telling the eyes where and how to point, how to be able to focus, how to be able to track, as well as uh, interpreting the clarity of the light that's actually coming into the eyes. Uh, we did a series of tests, and one of the things that I noticed um, was that she had a difficult time focusing on those particular pictures. At times, she would um, look out the window for a little while, even though she was given more time to study the diagram. Her focusing attention on something specifically and looking at details was very taxing. But we found that she definitely had a lot of difficulty tracking with her eyes, that the ability to move her eyes independent of head and body was very, very low. And so she tended to read by moving her head rather than moving her eyes. I found that her eye focusing system uh, had very little flexibility in it. Uh, as I tell parents, it's kind of like it's acting as though somebody poured molasses in it. So it's really, really slow to change from far distance to near distance and back to far distance. And then I found that uh, she definitely tended to overturn or overconverge her eyes when doing near point work. So if the book is here and her eyes could point anywhere they darn well felt like it, her eyes really wanted to be way in here. So if she let her eyes come way in here, she saw double. Otherwise, she had to actively try to push the alignment system back to where the book is, and that would make her tired and fatigued very, very quickly. I noticed when we were doing the perceptual testing that it seemed like she was looking out of one eye. She would tilt her head and look like this, or tilt and look with the other eye. 
So I suspect that both of those eyes either are not working together all the time, or it could be that when she's looking at near point, one of the eyes is working, and when she's looking at a distance, the other eye is in operation. So sometimes initially we have a lot of challenge getting the brain to turn on both eyes simultaneously so that we can work on the binocular vision. In vision therapy, we're setting up an environment where we can give the brain the necessary information to restore the ability for the eyes to team and coordinate together, um, to be able to take in information equally through both eyes and then integrate it in the brain so that you're getting one input from the two circuits. When she's reading with flippers, the flippers have plus lenses on one side and minus lenses on the other. And we're simulating a near-far activity as far as the lenses in her eye are concerned. So we're working on building up the uh, flexibility of that focusing mechanism of her eyes while she's doing the saccades activity of jumping her eyes from place to place. Now if we place a prism in front of her eyes, that's going to be causing her vision system to be doing converging and diverging in a horizontal plane. So we're, again, we're working on uh, the flexibility of that system to adjust and make those words clear and single each time we flip. Not long after the therapy started, I asked her very directly, you know, so have you noticed any differences? You know, is there anything happening? <laughs> and I was surprised at her response without missing a beat. She says, I can see far away now. I guess she must have been in her world not really realizing that there's more to see beyond here, that there's more in distance. And she said that was the very first noticeable thing for her. Before I confused all the letters, and now it's only B and D. In class, I can see like what they're writing on the board. Everything used to just look like a big blur. It was all a bunch of letters, combinations and stuff. Looks like they were talking to me in a different language. D, A, yeah, yeah. So it sounded like I was reading. Like this whole paragraph right here would be on top of this one. Down here. So it'll make it look like a pancake. Pancake of words. Can you imagine trying to read it like that? And how exhausting it must be? Because you have to put so much work into it and nothing is changing because that's how her eyes were set up. So for her to be able to define that, that's just huge. Now I can see the whole paragraph. They're not all over the place. They're staying together. They're not splitting the words. It's been really, really fun working with her. Uh, we've seen a tremendous improvement in the ability to track with her eyes. Again, as we saw in the film at the beginning, it was totally and completely head movement. She had absolutely no idea how to get the brain to send the correct signals so that she could move her eyes independent of her head and body. She no longer skips lines and things like that, so she's reading more accurately, she's reading more quickly, and she's understanding um, more of what she reads. Ability-wise, I've been able to move her up into a higher book, which is significant, I mean, for a kid um, with, with so many disabilities that impact her so much, to make a year of progress in a year of school is huge. I mean, that generally doesn't happen. Her attitude towards reading is so much better than it was a year ago. She reads magazines, she'll read the newspaper, she'll check out books at the library that she wouldn't have checked out before. I used to read books then, but it was just like skipping through the pages. Now I'm like reading like falling with the class when we read. Oh, it feels great. It gives me hope that she will be okay in life, that she's not going to be stuck at a first or second grade level because I've had people tell me, give up your hopes because it's not going to happen. But now I know that it, it will happen and it can happen. She's a completely different person in terms of confidence level. 
I think that speaks volumes to, you know, the kinds of progress that she's made. She's talking more, she's more confident. Um, she has more of an established relationship with people. There's a lot more self-esteem, a lot more confidence. I, I used to didn't answer questions, now I answer questions. I had an F and then I bumped it up, an F minus and I bumped it up to an A. How's that feel? <laughs> Good.